located Poseidon in Vegas. We were in this sort of underwater, underground facility that had been flooded by Poseidon to protect itself. Uh, we fought our first Tide Ripper, first I think it was called. Many marvels. It certainly is. And he carried the precious treasure. And uh, this um, the businessman, or I don't know what you'd call him, but Mr. Right. Chen, but also, had designed this place to people. save Las Vegas during the hot zone crisis back in the 2050s or 2060s, just before the, the Feral Plague. Um, we sort of saw his journey from desperate businessman to successful saviour and then to the to the melancholy he felt as he had to sort of turn the lights off, right? And oh, as the machines a, drew closer. A whole stage. No, a whole arena filled with these lights. Might I remind you there's still the issue of transportation? Uh, we met these three chaps. I thought that they were a family at first, but they're not. They're these entertainers who are uh, really... What they do is sort of birthed from Vegas, right? And the, the kind of entertainment and the shows that they found on the holospheres that they had. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump in here and find Poseidon. Uh, there might be much more to this yet. Now we've got our special... Breathing apparatus, apparatus, apparatus. We can swim indefinitely, which is fabulous. Poseidon should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. I'm a little worried that the Zenith are going to show up and kill those three guys. They see themselves as beyond human, right? Or above human. Which is an interesting idea in and of itself. Because we like to think that we have morality and a conscience. How if we if there was to be another stage in human evolution, how would they treat us or how would we treat them? Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. Okay, we got some data points. Oh, look at all these servers. I've really enjoyed this uh, this whole bit underwater here. Really, really fun. I think it just kind of shows that a game like this that has, you know, quite sort of breakneck action to it when there. I should be able to use that console. When you're involved in combat, can strip that back and still be a really enjoyable and effective gameplay experience, right? So that whole underwater section where there's no combat. We had to do a little bit of stealth, but it was mostly just enjoying the navigation and the locomotion, right? Um, oh god, um, there's a data point here. Yep. I can't do it. I can't give up on this place. Really? I'm leaving everything on standby. The system's equipped for runs for decades, if not hundreds of years. It's a long shot, but... Maybe someday, against all odds, someone will find this place again. Marvel at its lights and wonders. Discover a fortune and boundless opportunity. Make it their own dream. After all, if the city can give me a second chance, if water can flow in the wasteland, anything's possible. Yeah, Stanley. He was right, Stanley. 
uh, Aloy. People did find joy here again, right? These stories of, and these shows will be shared by by the three chaps we met on the way in. Hacked again. Hidden in the AC code, so someone must have inserted it via the thermostat interface. Pretty funny, actually. You know what? You know that hollow ad for the cavemen re review over at the vodka? Well, their uh, loincloth disappeared. Went on for almost an hour before we shut it down. Chuckles aside, we can't let it happen again. <laughs> I've been over the environmental and hollow systems and they look okay. On your shift, have a look at the water and filtration code. Hate to think what might happen if those systems were compromised. It would be a lot worse than a few naked Neanderthals on the strip. <laughs> Par for the course in Vegas, right? Hi, Poseidon. Let's take you home, buddy. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Bring this back to Gaia. Huh. I feel like something else has got to happen here. Unless the others are looking for Hephaestus. Unless the Zeniths are looking for Hephaestus. We're going to run into them at some point. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. A lot of stuff's moving around. Moreland and crew must have headed back up top. Huh. With all the embers they could carry, I bet. Well, the lights are back on. Can we go and have a look in these places? Yeah, let's have a little look around. We might not be able to get back in here. Eiffel Tower. Poseidon! <laughs> the Trident. Snap more still here. Oh, 
Ah, you did good, Stanley. You did good. You lucky bastard. It's a cool juxtaposition, right? Because you have this sort of image of Las Vegas as being this horribly like plastic and fake kind of place, but in contrast to the sort of desolate well, not desolate, really, but, you know, where there's no cityscape anymore. There's no electricity, no shining lights. This takes on a, a slightly different meaning, right? And it becomes something magical, whereas, yeah, it's a nice contrast is all I mean. To how we probably viewed Vegas in the old world, not now, compared to how they're viewing it in their future circumstances. Of course we swam all the way down here, right? Lovely music as well. go. Yeah, we read these data points on the way in. Looks like that elevator I found earlier. Maybe I can catch a ride instead of climbing back up. Yeah, I sent this down before, I, <laughs> before we swam. Now, is someone going to have shown up up here? I'm a little bit worried. She did. It must have powered up the whole thing. Is that an eagle? Oh God! What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. oh, the show my old Gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized, his old Gramps legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the Empress as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the show. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. 
Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. <laughs> Bunch of hams. This delve was a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is going to stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to head back to Silga, see if she needs help with that scrambled signal first. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. It's going to draw a lot of attention though, and this place is surrounded by bandit camps. Um... So we could go and uh, take care of that. Obviously, we don't know um, what level all the others are. The only issue with doing Silga's quest is that we have to go back to base and then go back to her. But yeah, so let's spend some time in the desert then. Now that we've got this sorted. Oh, there is a oh. That's a block path. I thought that was a diving uh, site. Rock breakers, no thanks. Yeah. Oh, look at this, man. <laughs> Need to get a good view. Right, I should probably re-equip. I've got a few skill points as well. Um, might as well upgrade this. I am going to use it. Yeah, come to Las Vegas. It's got four bandit outposts surrounding the entire place. I guess that's why we have to take it down. It's like we work for the tourist board now. Now, this was level 25, so... We should be okay. Oh, look at this desert. We need some sort of like a uh, sand board or what, you know, like a, a snowboard, but for sand. Yeah, we should just like use the glider, but put it under our feet. Right. So a camp is, a camp is more extensive, right? Than a, an outpost. Well, probably more challenging. I would like to try and do these a bit more aggressively though, with using this, you know, cloaking device that we've got. Just merc everybody. Any people yet? Don't think we're close. Here we go. 
God, it's built under a Horus class. They got their own like combat pit in here. Like patrolling machines, I think. A rebel camp. Just like that horse from Delver said. Forgot to mention, it was built under a Horus. What are they doing here? We've got um claw striders or long legs. Oh god. That's coming right past us. Now we need to find a better way in. There's a big boy. I'd like to find a, a better way in. But we've got a good little snipe here. How did that miss? Are you, are you joking me? I've been spotted. No, you've not. No, you've not. Jesus, man. Well, I'm just too far away. Machines patrolling all the way around, pretty much. I'm going to go over to this um, southern side. See if we can find a way in. Either over or under the wall. Someone's riding a bristle bike, yeah. Not a good start missing all those headshots, but... Yeah, I think we should be able to get around the back there. Snipe, at, snipe everybody who doesn't have a helmet on. Corruptors. What? Module on my spear from one of them. I guess the rebels are using them too. Are you joking? I can't tag it, so. Fire's not going to help here. You will probably have a helmet on. Riders almost always have a helmet on. Are you joking? Oh, I think it's because maybe someone found that body. I don't know. Oh, 
Oi! Just get the hell out. Now right, let's find a way in. No, 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 what are you doing? Osran? What are they doing here? Okay, don't think these guys are friendly. Sons of Prometheus. Have I stumbled onto like a quest here or something? Probably on the edge of the map here. Yeah. Right on top of this Horus class uh, Titan thing. <laughs> wow. Look how big this is. This is unfathomably big. What the hell, Ted? Why would you need to build something this large? There's no way any of them could get me up here. Maybe I'll just start sniping from up here till I run out of resources. <laughs> oh god! <sighs> there are gaps in this. <laughs> Oh, there is shit. There is a way up here. Crap, there is a way up here. Oh, that's a shame. I really thought I was going to be able to snipe from up here. No, no, no. She? How would you know? Okay, patience. Get searching. We have to find her. Stop saying her. You don't know. I'm an arrow in the dark.
Man, your helmets are just ridiculous. Oh. I'm going to run out of machine muscle, man. Jesus. Sick of you. You're all, you've all got warrior bows. You can't reach me. Machine went down. They got a cat. They got a catapult or something. What the hell's going on? Throwing rocks. Seriously. Someone is throwing rocks. This guy. Come on, dude. No armor on the knee. Classic Tanakh. Right, we can take down that claw strider, I think. Good hit. Mm, not quite.
the hell's going on there? Where's your shield now, buddy? <laughs> no, oh, you, Nora. How did that blow me that way? I'll take you. No. Chug. Keep me in the fight. Yeah, nice sharpshooting. Give it a rest I first till I get my stamina back. Mm. Oh no! Triggered him too early! wasn't a healing. Where's it going to spawn me? Fuck. Hell. Oh, it's devastating. I was having loads of fun then. Is everyone dead? No, absolutely no one is dead. I was having a blast then. Looking, bloody climbed all the way up. <sighs> yeah, I needed to take all the minions out and take the big guy out from a distance. I hate fighting them one-on-one. -on -one. It's too stressful. And what am I going to do now? My machine muscles low again. I'm sorry, but that is nonsense. My machine muscles back down to 33. How is that fair? <laughs> I'm really angry now. I can't believe it's not giving me my resources back. Genuinely. Machines down with this. And that hammer. It has an override module like mine, but different. 
I think this is what the rebels use to override machines. Hmm. So, if I get rid of it, rebels will have fewer of them. Alright, time to do some stealth murdering. Can't take the champion sound. Nice. No helmet for you. Oh, we've got some goons outside. Where was the other big guy? Stay vigilant. I'm sure he was nearby. Helmet. Okay, maybe some of them have are, are actually gone. Well, most of them. Yeah, because there was only one champion, so... Conqueror. I don't think I'm going to be able to take this guy down, but one can hope. Not quite. I knew I did. No throwing rocks. Honestly. That's all I got. Yes. You they make me she got Oh not again. I'm so sick of your little pissy grenades.
Oh no, you don't. I'm not giving up. Man, they've multiplied. Well, that was satisfying. Oh, you're not dead. Exposed thighs. Oh, this has been very messy now. I don't have stamina for that. Okay, there's the big boy. Watch out. Sick of this. I'll stop you. Jesus. Yeah, I can't see anything new by. There we go. I knew it. Right behind you. Give it up. Loose. Oh. oh. You're not dead. Come on. Sorry this has gone a bit messy. I wanted to get it on that first attempt, but... Right now, there were these dudes in the back, right? Corrupter. Right, destroy the overriding equipment and find the camp's leader. We've not found him yet? Oh, 
I definitely need a hunter bow just um Just for stuff like that. Reinforcements. <laughs> right, these are the special people. Right, we've got our stealth stuff back, so maybe try and use that on them. Oh god. Let's cover that ground. You were the one that told me to look. What is it? to handle this. Do we just wail on them with a sustained burst? Ah! <laughs> that is one of the most satisfying things to do in this entire game. Let it recharge. Come on, nearly there. Come on, Nora. Stay still. Oh. Need to reload. That was foolish. Never. Never. Here. Let's have a little search then. Handled that pretty well, if I do say so myself. Right, I imagine there's some sort of message here. Prometheus engineers and operatives. I've been hearing some belly aching, whining about the Tanakh, the work, the conditions, the occasional limb loss to a machine when someone gets careless. I get it. It's been a long road. We've suffered, we'll continue to suffer, but we're close. This alliance will get us what we want, I promise. The Karja will pay for the Red Raids in blood. Fair enough. And so will all their collaborators in the Vanguard and back in the claim. So shut up. Get back to work and always remember a reckoning is on the way. 
sounds like the sons of Prometheus want blood. And the Karja are the target. The Vanguard, too. What else have you been up to? The map. Orders to increase the number of machines being captured and overridden. That is not good. Looks like the sons of Prometheus were here as well. It's an override module, like mine. It's been... altered. Looks like it needs to be inside a machine to work. Right, right. That's what the equipment outside is for. They pierce through a machine's armor and insert the module to override it. So the rebels harvest ancient corruptors in the area to get override modules. And I'm guessing the Sons of Prometheus modify them to be shoved into machines permanently. Now they have orders to override a lot more of them. I was right. I have to destroy that equipment fast. How the hell do I get out of this pit? Like, seriously? <laughs> All right, we got everyone. Oh, did it mean I didn't have my points spent on infiltrate? Yeah, I did. Yeah, let's let's upgrade this. It's definitely going to be useful. Right, quick save here. Uh, dying didn't make too much of a difference in the end. Made it a little bit messier, but I guess it was a bit messy to begin with. A lot of so caches. Sons of Prometheus are coming after the Karja and the Vanguard. We need to find out more about their operations and stop them. The Vanguard is Aaron's unit. I should talk to him about this. Have to check out it. Nice, we got the loot too. I can refill my patch with these later. All right, what are we going to do now? We're not really close to anything else, and we don't have a mount. <laughs> I guess we could just sort of explore the edges here and maybe see how what level this rebel outpost is. Maybe have a glance at the tremor tusks, just for the last 10-20 minutes. We can go back into Dune Hollow whenever we want, I think. Oh, there's a Relic Ruins. I'd, I'd, I'd like to do that. Well, let's go on a trek, then. Yeah, machine muscle. Very low.
still got the combat music on a bit, which is a bit weird. There we go, I think it's gone now. The music, I mean. I really like the sort of rolling dunes of these deserts. You know, it doesn't feel too flat or anything to, to navigate through. Definitely, it definitely feels desolate, but... Right, we'll check out these ruins, do a bit of puzzling after all that <laughs> murdering. <laughs> wow, look at these uh, steep, ed uh, steep cliffs, I guess. No, steep sides of the dunes. Oh. Without a rider, though, right? Machines resistant to fire. We'll leave you alone, Mr. Trematosk. Looks a little more intact than some of the others out here. Hmm. I wonder if I can find anything interesting inside. The still sense. A relic. How do I get to it? This place is pretty huge. Right, I guess we get in there. A lot of water in here. Might be part of the same water system as Morland's ruins. There's some fire gleam there, which I failed to notice. Oops. Ma! Looks like there's a drain beyond that grate in the wall. This crate could come in handy. Okay. 
push it through water like this? I guess so. It's a dream in the wall. Yeah, that's just a way out, right? I don't think I can get the crate over there, can I? I guess that's not the way to do it. It's close, but no cigar. Where else could I push the uh, crate? Maybe I can approach from the outside, maybe? Huh. 
that's not the way. Oh, that's what we need to open this for. We need to block it. Whoa, the water's rising fast. Oh, awesome. Perfect. Right, the key module's over here. Key module. Be smart poker. How often are we told not to show our emotions in poker? Keep a straight face, avoid showing tells. The cow gaming mogul, Kendrick Houston, Shows us how old tactics are all wrong in his groundbreaking new strategy guide, Beat Smart Poker AI by Playing Dumb. That kind of like game theory, right? Defeat casino AIs in five illogical steps that are simple to learn but hard to detect. Beat the house, crash the system, make a fortune. Now available for all hollow readers for the low price of only corrupted. Right, so let's open the door. Okay, I'm in. Let's see what I can do with this. I push it while swimming. No. this somehow Oh, 
Oh, I just screwed that up. I think I have. I needed to drop them on top of each other, right? Why did I do that? There must be a, another way of doing it. Okay, crates. I wonder if they can float. Well, yeah. I need to get this over there or something. Okay, two crates. What to do with them? Is there a way of getting it back up here? Okay, I'm flummoxed. If they were supposed to be on top of each other, then I'm not sure how I'm going to get it back up there.
Maybe I can reach something higher up if I stand on the crate while it's floating. Where though? Not all that. I'm getting somewhere. Hey, I did it. Here we are. Got another relic. I guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. Top long enough. Jesus. I, I was just overcomplicating it in my mind. All I needed to do was climb on something. I thought I had to put the crates on top of each other to get over something. Excellent, excellent. Right. We don't know what level some of these are. Some of these outposts can be really high level. Right. Well, I uh, leave it there, guys. Took down the rebel outpost, got Poseidon, uh, lit up Vegas. A turtle! Don't make me kill the turtles. Little sand snapper. All right. So we'll pick it up from here next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.